Dane County community is taking a look at its options to keep sex offenders out of their neighborhoods tonight. The conversation comes after a sex offender was scheduled to move into a Cottage Grove home that was eventually set on fire. 50-year-old Russell Spiegel was arrested for arson in connection to that fire but has not been charged at this time. Leah Linshai joins us live from Cottage Grove where a town board meeting just wrapped up tonight, Leah. Michelle, Michelle, like you just said, the town board is just taking a look at its options and the town chair tells us there aren't a lot, but the town board is going forward with one of them. Residents tonight asked board members to pass an ordinance that prohibits landlords from leasing property in the town to a level three sex offender. Tonight, the board voted to allow its ordinance community committee to draft a measure that would take those requests into consideration. And as you can see from that crowd that packed into the meeting, it's a solution that has the backing of dozens of Cottage Grove residents who say living next to a sex offender is just not an option. It's kind of like, oh yeah, I mean, you know, we're gonna put a bomb in your car, but oh no, no, we're gonna, it's not gonna do anything unless we take the trigger off. In a township like Town of Cottage Grove, I could think of a few places where I would think that it would be more suitable for them to be placed, where it's a uh, existing uh, home or farmhouse that is away from everything. In that meeting, board members said the ordinance would likely restrict sex offenders from living too close to an area where lots of children live. The specifics of that ordinance obviously still have to be worked out, but the next step is to have that ordinance committee take a look and draft the measure, which would then go back to the town board for a public hearing for residents to voice their concerns or opinions on it. And the earliest the town board would be voting on that is April, Michelle. All right, certainly a very hot topic there in Cottage Grove. Leah Lynch reporting live for us tonight. Leah, thank you.